What makes Americans Americans are these discussions, hopefully respectful, you know, sure. disagreements We're when it comes to, to policy, allowed to protest, allowed to hold truth to power. Uh, so be wary of those who throw around un-American. I think Congress needs to speak and say no, that this is un-American, it's not keeping us safe. The second reason this order is so bad, John, is it's just un-American and unconstitutional. It's un-American. It is the talk of an autocrat, not the talk of a Western democratic leader. I think this is an order that is un-American. It's not consistent with our values of a nation that's built on immigrants. Bring the people together to organize, to put pressure on the administration and on the Congress not to go through with those policies which are so, so un-American. This does feel un-American and it feels like it's violating uh, the very democratic institutions we want to uphold. It is distressing and I think it's un-American to be honest with you. When you look at this Trump agenda, you know, it reflects their views and this very un-American agenda. I find the administration's actions offensive, un-American, and cruel. I believe what Republicans and President Trump are doing is un-American. That just seems harmful and hurtful and mean and un-American. That is just, it's just un-American. It is just un-American. It seems to me we are signaling something that's very un-American to the rest of the world. It's unorthodox, it's undemocratic, and it's un-American. These are some of the most un-American actions that I've ever seen by an American president. This White House does not seem to value an independent press. There is a word for that line of thinking. The word is un-American.